Close combat! Oh. I... Wow. I, I was not expecting that. getting there. Two-thirds. Oh, hi. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, Uthgert. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is good. That Aranar. What might this be? Locked. Got it. <laughs> Uthgird, what the hell? <laughs> How did you manage that? They have my tartan. That's amazing. Hey, Mad. Interesting that they chose this particular tartan of the Clan MacLeod. There are many sand pits around Sandrock which contain a variety of fish. What? <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. I'm just going to leave that live grenade there. I'm sure that won't be a problem. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, now they can get out of there before they get eaten alive.
There we go. That was so much okay. better. Now how to get out of here? <laughs> I that was completely an accident. Why, you bastards. Get ready. Here comes another one. Let's get them. Take him down. Our ammo's replenished. Go on. Dump it into the enemy. Nice. Oh my god, what have I done? Oh god, the donkey. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is a disaster. <laughs> <You're t> <laughs> Drive now to save I'd better back off. <laughs> I did not expect it to get the Albion truck. That's amazing. Hey, I have not. I have not looted that, sir. Got him? Did he shoot my fireball? Dumped it right and literally next to me. No, I think we're going to go with Galaxy, unless Defiant is... Actually, Defiant's not too bad. Let's stick with the Galaxy, though. That looks good to me. Okay. There you are. What? 
Ruined. That was a perfectly lined up shot. Bastila is a frickin' lifesaver. This is definitely gonna get a... Thanks, guys. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Really? Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A meteor strike has occurred. Yes, don't Avoid say. the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Back. Come on. I'll check this way. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Stop everything. They've all gone. <laughs> oh. What? Damn it. <laughs> Good evening, folks. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. I apologize for the late start tonight. Um, I was just running a little bit behind, but uh, we're here now. We're going to play some Dwarf Fortress for the first time in 2023. How's everybody doing? Let me see. Go. Let me see. Greeny, how's it going? It's good to see you, Bob and Stara, California. It's wonderful to have you all here. What is going on? How has everybody's Saturday been? Mine's been pretty good so far. I've been continuing my work on video work, like uh, just doing video production stuff and trying to learn more. And I watched Glass Onion, finally. I really liked it. Very, very fun movie. Pretty good? Excellent. I am very glad to hear that. Now, I don't... I, I remember this layout a little bit. See if I can remember more. This is oh, okay. That was headed towards the surface. Oh right. Okay. 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 So if we go down. Oh right. This is the. <laughs> I, oh okay. We've got the the cutout there. What's this over here? Oh geez. More over here. Okay, so we're going over there. Right, I think I was thinking of this area here and everything above and below it as being sort of a temporary thing. And then we were going down and we broke into the caves. Right, and this is, I remember now, it's been a bit. Uh, we've just started figuring out how to do gates and mechanisms and things like that. Okay. It was a cold ride home tonight, but at least no one tried to hit me. That's a good thing, Greeny. I'm glad no one hit you. I realized three quarters of the way home that I had left my phone at home. <laughs> oh no. You'll be back there in the morning. Oh, that sucks, Greeny. 
That sucks. Hopefully nothing happens to it overnight. I'm sure nothing will. Okay. Um... So I've discovered a few things. Where are labor? Let's see. We, yeah. Uh, I thought that these were the only work detail options we had. And it turns out this is not actually true. I'm going to add a new work detail. It's a custom detail. Because there's an awful lot of options here that are not covered by this small number of defaults, it turns out. There are so many specializations, and even just larger, like there's no default for metalsmithing, of all things. So furnace operating, weaponsmithing, armoring, blacksmithing, metal crafting, none of that is handled by any of the default work details. So I'm going to create a metalsmithing, just general thing, and then maybe we'll do more specific stuff. So we're going to, we're going to do that. We're going to rename it because custom detail one is not terribly descriptive. And just be real creative, like and call it metalsmithing. And I guess for now, okay, no, only selected do this because we've got a bunch of people that are apparently quite good at this already. So you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Expert metal crafter, you can do it. Uh, talented furnace operator. Weaponsmith. This almost makes me think I should try to do something more specific. But all these people that show up with the bright white name, they have some relevant skills. Which is a vast number of people in the community, it looks like. So we're just going to say, yeah, you're all authorized. There we go. And hopefully that will make it a little bit easier to get metal working as a viable job for the people in the community here. So let's go up a little bit. Do we even have... Yeah, we do. Okay, so we've got a smelter. And we've got a metalsmith's forge, which I believe is probably not being used terribly extensively because nobody can really do anything. Oh, I just got started, Prob. I was late myself. And besides, you cannot be late to stream. You show up when you show up, and you're here perfectly on time. Got to, got two cuttlefish today. Also made the alien containment. Put three crab squid eggs in it. Also put crab snake eggs. Okay. I usually reserve my alien containment for Reginalds, but that's because they're really good in the bioreactor. I know a lot of people like raising the creature eggs and stuff like that. That's never been my thing. But uh, that's awesome. I'm glad you got the stuff you wanted. Okay, so uh, maybe we should review recent events for the first time in a few months. So, we need stuff. We need things. They've completed making meals. We got some more migrants. Um, somebody is a really good cook and created Masterpiece Garden Crest Biscuits. And I've struck hematite. How did you manage to get two cuttlefish? I didn't think you could get more than the one. But I really wouldn't know because I've never even gotten one. What do we have here? Oh, I guess I've already switched over to doing this. Okay, rock, smelting. 
forging, lots of forging, all kinds of stuff. Okay. Make rock cabinet has been complete. Are they crafts? They're doing things. That's better than I had in my off stream game that I also haven't worked on in a long time. I couldn't convince them to do anything with metal. You know, be embarrassing for a dwarven kingdom. An animal has grown to become a stray ram. Lovely. Collecting clay is complete. Eat logs. Okay, now if I remember correctly, we really haven't opened up a route to the outside yet, aside from, well, the one that we quickly sealed off again. So we don't really have a great deal of access to outside materials in the caverns yet. Redaction time, it's been a bit. How are you doing? Mechanism, vertical iron bars, excellent. So, if we pull the lever, that should open. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. How's everything been going for you so far this year? Let's see, we're gonna chop some trees. Gonna chop some trees, there we go, thank you. Ah, it just took a moment for the bars to open. Almost triggered a plane to sit on its tail? And dump your co-worker out the cargo compartment. That doesn't sound good, Redaction Time. What happened? War Fortress is really fun. It's really complicated. Like, I don't understand the vast majority of the game yet. Oh my god, where are you all going? Don't get eaten, please. Long story, but just Swiss cheese effect. Okay, well. I'm glad that it was almost and not a thing that actually happened.
Now things happen together to cause an incident. Oh, okay. has stolen a honeybee wax honeycomb. Summer. Stuff. Uh, I've struck stuff. Gem Liquidad has grown to become a cat, as one does. Electricity like has been completed. I don't know why, but it keeps unsubbing me randomly. Oh, are you just talking about the uh, the book collection, like your sub icon not showing up? That doesn't mean you're not subbed. That's just the icon displaying or not displaying. That's just that's a thing that happens. It's not really anything to worry about. Create a large room down here. Oh, are you using Twitch Prime? By any chance? Because if you're using Prime, that's to be expected. No, really? Then that is definitely a little bit weird, Redacted. I'm not sure what to tell you there. Yeah, that is really strange. It's also not showing your resub as an alert. Although that, uh, you may just have to refresh if you want that to happen. Either that or maybe my alerts aren't working. Hopefully they are. Oh, it's all right on that? Okay. Uh, Tiger Eye Cluster. Let's grab those. Oh, what? A human caravan from Eggagil has arrived. A chief treasurer has arrived. That sounds important. Okay, so they're right there. They're coming over this way. Broker requested a depot. Library of lore. Someone has just used their one and only Twitch Prime sub for the month to support us. Dark Snarky, thank you so much for the Prime sub. I really appreciate that. And also, thank you for testing the alerts. <laughs> you told it not to. Okay, fair enough. No need to. It was just puzzling to me, that's all. How are you doing, Shark? It's good to see you. Now we need to move stuff, so... Bins... We want all the best bins. Basically means finished goods. Okay. Yeah, oh, that is getting off close to two years, isn't it?
That is weird. Automod, what the heck are you on about? The broker Fath something unpronounceable meets with the human chief treasurer Uthra Bullyern. Uthra, on behalf of the Merchants Guild, let me extend greetings to your people. There is much to discuss. There is much to share. Information added to Civilization's World Info. Okay, so... Make requests for next year's caravan. They'll charge more for these items. I don't know what we want next year. Probably food. Be nice. Garden vegetables, perhaps. Various plants. Meat is all... Oh, God. You know what? Never mind the meat. Buy what they bring. Okay, that's good. I never know what to ask for. Let's discuss what we're willing to offer for your craft dwarf ship. A need for bracelets and legwear is expected, and if you are able to provide some, the caravan will offer 195% and 6% respectively. This export agreement only applies to trades next year, not with any merchants present. Okay. Oh. I apologize, folks. We have ads in progress. I will be back in just a minute. That's all you need to know. Yeah. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. <laughs> what? <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, uh, I'm ready when you are. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, um, what? You shot my banjo. You can't be sure of that. That shot may have come from the grassy knoll. Oh of all the low-down tricks, I never heard of anything so low. I completely misjudged you. You are a pirate after all. Push power button. Push auto nav button. Pull throttle. <laughs> Please buckle your seatbelt first. Buckle seat belt. Done. Pull throttle. Your door is a jar. No, my door is a door. Close pod door. Done. Pull. Uh oh. <laughs> I was literally typing it. Gosh, Roger, it would appear you have met an untimely demise. With the explosive destruction of the Arcada, you become part of a fresh collection of space debris. Okay, I'm back. I like that space quest clip a lot. What was that one place I gotta go to next? Uh, I, I really don't know, Prob. I don't know what's happening in your game.
Okay, are we good to trade or are they still... Oh, they're still setting up. Okay. Excellent. Let's see what we got here. If I were to take every log they've got available, that's pretty reasonable. Oh, good prop. Excellent. I think we've done a lot of cloth buying in the past, assuming I'm not thinking of my other playthrough, so I'm just gonna leave that for the time being. Well, they brought an awful lot of it. I wonder if maybe requested some. A couple bins. Get the meat. Get the fish. Plants. Get the leaves and the fruit. And the more leaves and fruit. And the still more leaves and fruit. Backpack. And the cheese, just so we have some dietary variations. Okay, what do we have inside this bin? This so far looks like stuff we can get of. Oh, damn it, there's a quiver in there. You know what? They can have the quiver. It's the only thing to be able to oop. sell that entire bin off again. take some more stuff. Taking all the logs. I'll take the ropes too, the chains and stuff. to go to the Lost River. The Lost River is an interesting place. Do you ever catch yourself trying to mouse wheel to zoom all the time? Yes. Okay. I always want to zoom. Oh, wait. Why? What? Shoot. Why do we have troglodytes fighting in here?
has improved wait improved a manuscript how i don't think i've got a library set up do i Why? I open the... I open the gate for just a short time and troglodytes immediately attack. Is there a way to make stone farmable? I am extremely new to this game, so I don't believe there is, but I wouldn't be the one to ask. You probably have to look at mods, though. I can't imagine how you could possibly farm stone. Realize they could encrust stuff onto manuscripts. That's really cool. Like that. Yeah. Oh no. Lost one. Okay, where the heck? Back to squads. Gonna have to uh, assign them a kill order. Murder the troglodyte, please. Here they go. idea where the troglodyte went. Where's our stores? Uh, stocks. We have mechanisms. We actually do. What the heck? Awesome. Can we do traps? I've never done traps before. This might be a horrible idea. 
Upright weapons are a nasty place for intruders to fall upon. Can also be linked to levers or pressure plates to raise them into intruders. Pressure plates like levers are used with machines, doors, floodgates, bridges, cages, and other structures to change their state. The trigger for pressure plates can be set by creature weight, fluid, or minecart passage. Stone fall traps drop a stone on intruders, must be loaded with boulders. Access to item. Okay, fine. Never mind. For you. Job. get that. I'm not going to dig up here because I don't want to open up multiple entrances in here that I have to try and defend. That's all we're taking there. Uh, go ahead. I'm learning the mechanics of this game, and I honestly could use all the help I can get. For this game, I don't mind if people explain mechanics and stuff. I, I'm not necessarily eager for people to say, do this, do that, do the other thing. You need to set this up, but, uh, you know, telling me how things can be done, that's totally fine. Supposedly, you can make a pond zone. Okay. Then once you're at a thin level of water, unzone it and let it evaporate. When it evaporates, it'll leave mud so you can make it farmable. 
Oh, 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 okay. I completely misunderstood what you were talking about. I thought you meant, how do you make an area where you can just mine stone indefinitely? Instead of digging it up and then it's gone. I get what you're talking about now. Yeah, I've, um... Yeah, I've looked into doing that. I prefer to go the easy route and just do my farming close to the surface. Sorry for the misunderstanding there. Automod is spamming your chat saying it has allowed your message? That's weird. I'm not seeing anything from Automod about you, so I don't know why it would be doing that. Take a wild guess that I can dig those out. What would I be looking for, Bob? What is this about? Oh good, my asthma. Now, do we not have... Okay, yeah, we've got plenty of graves set up. Uh, but do we... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we've got plenty. Okay, so we should worry about the bodies of our own fallen. But this guy needs to go in the trash. Oh, oh, okay. No worries, Bob. No worries. Etchy, hey, how's it going? Good to see you. Six minute warning on ads, guys. I'll try to keep my eye on that so that I don't miss it and I can run clips. Miss anything, hopefully. Oh, 
thought I thought these two veins were gonna converge together, but it they still might, but right now it's almost looking like two different veins. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay. They connect on the diagonal. And there. Okay. So yeah, that's just... That's fully linked now. seen them give me a message for sparring before. That's encouraging. Cave crocodile, rodent, man, spearman? What? That one. Okay, it looks like we need to murder again. Oh, never mind. Looks like it's already dead. Okay. Oh my god, what died here? Something stinks. Hey, Kellen Ray. Unless you're hanging out in my dwarf fortress, I don't think it's you. You never know. It's true. Oh, it could just be that we've got a ton of rotten food here. I thought there was a corpse. I don't know, honestly. <laughs> Is what a staircase? This thing here? Underneath this, the bones? Yes, this is a staircase. Actively trying to hide from my abscess? That sounds like a very good idea. Oh, we do have a living cave crocodile. Murder. Yeah, you know, Rimworld has other stuff that Dwarf Fortress doesn't have. Oh. 
Erdem has created something or other, a native platform scepter. He offers it to the town of Clutches. Okay, so, like our cave crocodile is dead. I really wish you could butcher animals that you kill in combat as opposed to for the sake of butchering. That would be really nice. What the hell are these? Rodent man spearmen. A lot of dead troglodytes. I'm just starting to get the feeling that maybe we want to pull the lever again. God, Automod is just on a tear tonight. Oh no. We had somebody outside. Well, we're stuck forever with the lever pulled and oh, conditions. What's uh? They're fighting, collecting clay. They've begun and finished a mysterious construction. They're doing stuff. They're making stuff. Growing up. They're becoming stuff, and they're sparring. And stuff, and petitions. Oh, and we have ads in progress. Hang on. Uh, now, uh, whole the uh, the fated creed needs a temple and priest. Okay, approve. Good. I will be back in just a moment. I'm gonna run some clips. So, back in a minute. Good. The incident I'm referring to is a disagreement between two criminals, Greedo and Han Solo. Blasters were involved and only one of them walked away from the scene. We've identified a number of witnesses to the scene still in Moss Eisley. Go gather statements from all of them to establish who shot first, Greedo or Solo. I love this so much. Oh, hello. That is how you deal with trolls. They call them silent machete kills, but they definitely don't see all that seem all that silent to me. Right. Sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. I don't even know where to start. Grunt, you apologize to the nice man for setting his car on fire. Fine. I'm sorry for setting your car on fire. Okay, I'm back. Hey, Mad. I'm having a pretty good night so far. Four Fortress is always fun. Streaming with you guys is always awesome. And I watched Knives Out. Or, uh, sorry, not Knives Out. The new one. Glass Onion earlier. And 
that was really, really fun to watch. So, pretty good night so far. What the heck? Completely drained up. What? Completely drained of blood. Keep losing people, Mr. Soggy Ramen, so it's going questionably as one would expect. How are you doing? Okay, we can do a terrible pun or dad joke. Hang on. Alright, guys. Why did the prospector refuse to smoke dynamite? He was afraid it would blow his mind. Posture check. Thank you, Sketchy. Oh, and hydrate and neck stretch. Doing well, also doing laundry. It always surprises me how much laundry I have to do. I know, it's like you get it all finished and then before you know it, you just have to do more. It's enough to make you wonder why you bother in the first place. Um, do we have more furniture to place at this point? Three or four loads a week. Damn, that's actually quite a lot. That means every other day you create a load of laundry. Yep, I can believe it. Okay, so we've got some new bedrooms we can designate.
Now, I think I remember something vaguely about having agreed to construct a temple. Probably look at that, too. There we go. It's all worth it to smell this nice? I guess so. Manage work orders. Oh, shoot. Have I not assigned an office yet? This. see here we need furniture do we have tables no okay stone working make a rock table make a rock throne A bookcase. Make a coffer. Oh, thank you, Redaction. Scepter. A lot of fighting going on. One Dwarf Fortress game where a badger kept killing your people? Badgers? Pretty nasty. You don't want to mess with badgers.
Sure. Cabinet. Eating or betting of any kind, can you? Table. Thing. More doors now. That was a rock salt table. Fine, I guess. Yes. How goes the fortress? It's um a little iffy. I opened up my carefully constructed door to keep people out of the caves and everybody promptly left the caves and now I can't close it for fear of leaving people. Coven of Twilight has many worshippers in Holrop and now requires a temple priest. The location must be furnished with the by you. Okay. That's the second one we have to do. If What we'll do is carve out a, a hallway here, big room here, big room here. For two temples. <clears throat> How are things going on, Sara? I hope all is well with you. Playing a bit of Final Fantasy XIV. I hope that's going well. I keep hearing good things about it, but maybe one day I'll give it a try. But I think before I do that, I'm going to have to continue my playthrough of some of the other earlier Kings, or not Kings Quest, I mean Final Fantasy games.
That's good to hear. I love the game to bits, but I'm the first to admit it's not exactly easy to just pick up and play once in a while. MMOs have a time commitment on the bright side, unlike a lot of MMOs. It doesn't pressure you to log in all the time. More casual, friendly than... Well, that's good then. Burnt out on online games? Yeah. Don't blame you. I myself don't actually play that often these days. I bounce around between a lot of games with Wildermyth. Okay. Yeah, I keep thinking I might need to revisit Wildermyth again. Triangle Strategy is a name that I've heard. I don't know much about it, though. What's, what's going on with that one? Okay, create a new eating area. Boom. Make the a temple. I don't remember who this has to be a temple. Well, the Fated Creed needs a temple, so we'll make it that. Triangle strategy sounds so lame, it makes sense in context, but I would have looked at something better. Terrible name for a bait kind of game. It's like Final Fantasy Tactics, basically a tactical RPG. Okay. Gotta get back on to managing. They're doing the thing. Okay. Getting the offices. Wanted to do what you me hunting, and you sorted your Steam games to do so, but then I don't feel like doing it. I don't blame you. And hunting is... Well... Oh. There it is. Uh, achievement hunting... Kinda boring. At least, you know, for me, anyway. Your mileage may, of course. Hey, Voidum, how's it going? No, I did play uh, Wildermyth once, Mr. Soggy Ramen. I even have a few clips of it. It was a very good game. I was very impressed. I really liked it. I just never got back to it again. Uh, that's not because I didn't like it, it's just because I've, you know, as a variety streamer, I like to keep things varied, and uh, I don't always get back to games that I enjoy. What happened to all my finished goods? I can't have sold them all. I might have sold quite a few of them.
That depends on how far away the person you're telling the name to is. I think so, Mr. Soggy Roman, but I, I'm not sure. And so I might know better than I do. Man, broker. Damn it. Just training and training and training and now sleeping. Need you up here, buddy. You did what, Rob? Oh, we have diplomacy too. I'm your liaison from the mountain homes. Let's discuss your situation. Merit deserves a reward, and I come in power to establish this colony as an official land of our realm. Can you imagine the trade wagons? Of course, there are responsibilities, and the nobility must live well. Do you have anyone suitable to recommend for elevation? I can scarcely believe this good news. I have some recommendations. Ah, uh, you found the disease research facility. Nice, Prob. Excellent. Let's elevate Catton for no particular reason. No, no more training. God, people. I didn't mean to accidentally destroy my squad. Oh well. At least the broker doesn't have training anymore. We'll get that set up again in a minute. Actually, it looks like ads are starting in just a few minutes, so... Or a few seconds, actually. So I'm going to go take a proper break for a little bit and run some clips. So if you guys uh want to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack or something this is a really good time and i'll meet you back here at three and a half to five
that freaking crab squid. Hey! <laughs> That's all good. I'm not sure what happened there. <laughs> oh my god, the charging of the boar. Oh, oh. Okay, um... I mean, I don't want to tell you your business, but there's a bed right there. It's right there. Maybe we need to sacrifice a little bit of cheese. You fool! You've given cheese to a lactose intolerant volcano god! Do you know what that means? You brought about the coming of the divine dysentery! Run for your lives! <laughs> Nice. Wow, that was more spectacular than I'd hoped. Whoa. Oh. What the hell? Deal a total of 6,500 or more damage? What did I just walk into? Oh, this is off to a good start. There we go. That certainly looks like it's being held by Rebel Scum. Oh, you are so lucky. And holy crap, that right goal. Can we go now, please? Oh crap. Uthgird. You made it mad at me. Oh, <laughs> at least he's enclosed. <laughs> oh my god, we get the Battle of the Titans. It's the T-Rex versus the uh Triceratops. At least until T-Rex gets tranked. These guys have got a hell of a show. Okay. Back. <laughs> yes, they do, Mr. Soggy Roman. And yep, Rob, you'll see some pretty crazy stuff.
Thank you, Mr. Soggy Brahmin. Thank you, Enstara. Able to afford all of this actually. What did it's so expensive? Oh, we necessarily need a 3,000 rope or a 2,000 unit rope for that. We'll take the anvils. Neat. Gonna have to go to bed soon? Yeah. I hope you rest well, man. Thank you for stopping in. I do appreciate it your scrolls and your codices your sheets okay so let's just give them that that is probably everything oh and they're still at a loss okay. maybe I can't take all of the anvils Thank you. Alright, we won't bother with the fish. Okay, now I suppose, oops, let's repause that. I'd probably better create another squad. Captain, the guards, oh right, we have new stuff we have to do. A barony. Baroness, needs stuff, needs stuff. Champion, vacant. 
Captain of the Guard. Talented leader. You're hired. You don't want a dungeon master or a hammerer. Militia captain. Osid, you're do you're you're good. Okay. Know more about champions. A champion is a noble position appointed by the player to a dwarf. A chosen dwarf can be freely replaced. The champion will lead combat demonstrations in barracks, much like a militia captain would. This position has no room requirements, and the dwarf selected needs no special skills or qualifications and does not need to be active in the military. However, teacher skills could prove useful. In previous versions of the game, champions were dwarves that had achieved a legendary combat skill. This is no longer the case. Such dwarves are now called heroes, and any dwarf can become the champion after your fortress becomes a barony. So I guess there's no real reason not to appoint a champion. Two symbols for the position holder to carry or wear. Hey, we're good. We don't actually have any messengers. We should get somebody. Be the mess. Oh, she's already the mayor. Never mind. Well, you can also be a messenger, but we're going to reassign that, actually. There you go. That's probably better. Mayor and messenger all in one. I don't know. Yeah, let's look at our labor. Stone curse. Work detail. Never mind. Where is minor stone cutter? They tell you what the detail does, does it? say for stone cutter everybody does this for miner everybody does this i can't do that why can i not do that Change the uh, icon there. Be cool.
setting here. You killed the crab squid. Excellent, Rob. Excellent. That's what I love to hear. The other room is done, I notice. Hey. Need a meeting area? Temple? Already have Faded Creed. See the other one that's got ten worshippers, so that's probably the Coven of Twilight then. Line of lizards, lovely. Faded Abbey. A great to build temple. You can recognize a priesthood once this is a temple. Guests in common area, zero common stored instruments, zero des uh, what they desire. Dance floor in common area, 11 by 12. So right now it's a shrine, but we have to get it up to temple status, which means we'd need to have it at a value of 2,000. And it looks like just smoothing it out is not going to cut it, unfortunately. Yes, they can, Prob. Anything can breed in the containment area, if I'm not mistaken. That's why I have Reginalds in mind, and that's why they're multiplying. They will not breed in just the aquarium. It has to be the alien containment. You have four crab squids and three crab snakes. Yep, if you don't want them to breed, put them in an aquarium instead of alien containment, or make sure that you've only got one. A guild hall for the geared company. The geared company has many members in Holruff and now requires a guild hall. The location must be built and furnished with the hall designated for a craft dwarf guild. Well, we're going to reserve this level for specifically temples, but we can go up a level. We're going to make this another hallway, do a little intersection there. There, and we'll do a big room here and a big room. Here. Go there. Too big.
Happy California. So what's going on tonight? I had to step away for a bit. We are playing Dwarf Fortress, the newer version that just came out on Steam a little while back. It is a pretty fun game. If you're familiar at all with RimWorld, you might be familiar with the type of game it is. RimWorld was actually based on Dwarf Fortress or inspired by it. And we're just trying to live our dwarfy lives. Okay, so we've got these done. Now... Oh, not the one. Want to engrave ornate artwork. Let's see how that goes. I am so not familiar with this game, but trying to follow along and get acclimated. That could prove challenging. Dwarf Fortress has been around for some 20 years or thereabouts. And uh, it, it's one of the most complicated games ever created. And yet, that's a big part of what actually makes it fun. I'm trying to learn it. I've never really played before this. Right now, basically what's happened is we have enough dwarfs living in the fortress that not one but two different religions have requested temples, so that's what these are going to be. Theory. Ideally. And we've also had a guild hall, or a guild rather request a guild hall, and that's what we're carving out now. I mean, I'm carving out two of them, but I only need the one at the moment. I'm sure there will be more. To me, a game like this is too complicated, though I do think I could learn it. It would just take me a few years longer than the average. I don't know, Bob. You never know. Oh, shoot. Open space. Damn it. I didn't want to do that. I just cut off access. Uh... Red alert. Raid incoming. What? Alera, El, what? Joduri, and all librarians, please get all viewers and patrons into welcome shelters immediately. Library cards are available for distribution. And, uh, it's so wonderful to see you. I see the raise the desk request. I will do that in a few minutes, probably after the raid. And, uh, how's it going? Welcome on in. How are you doing this evening? Welcome, everybody. Oh, thank you very much for the shout out. I appreciate it. Trini, thank you for the shoutouts. What's going on, Manda? Uh, how is Minecraft treating you this evening? Guys, if you don't know Manda Lynn, she's been a friend of the channel for a very long time. She is a really wonderful person. Really fun, really chill, really just awesome vibes kind of streamer. So make sure you go give her a follow and check out her content. She is really, really, really cool. We are under attack. We are not under attack. Manda would never attack us. Unless we were playing Minecraft with her, maybe. One moment here, library. It's time to welcome a new lore seeker to our ranks. Thank you very much for the follow. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the follow. Welcome on in. So, yeah, if you guys have never been here before, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games, and on occasion, I have been known to do real world physical Lego builds as well. So if any of that sounds good to you, please feel free to hit the follow button. While I try to set this down without breaking it apart. Yep. Uh, yeah, I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly as well. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. It was really fun, Manda. I got it partially, I have to, I'll get to the video in a moment, but I gotta tell you, 
I saw another streamer, a, a wonderful lady named Nelvara, build the Razor Crest on stream, and I thought, oh my god, I have to build that. And Lego have come out and they've said the deluxe, you know, super expensive thousand dollar Millennium Falcon, they pretty much have to keep that available because it's one of their most popular sets ever. But the Razor Crest has no such protection. And so I thought, okay, I have to do it before the end of the year. So right before Christmas, like early December, I got it and I built it. And less than one month later, sure enough, as if on schedule, they announced that it's one of the retiring sets. So <laughs> I got it just in time. Uh, it was a really fun build. It's the biggest one that I've done. I've done Boba Fett Starship. I've done the Razor Crest. And I also did Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter. They were all really fun. Really, really cool. I'm definitely going to do more LEGO builds this year. Uh, but now, I did promise you a raid video. And I will do that. So uh, hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. No oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that. Let's go for it. Oh. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. Okay, that's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts. So tell me all about your stream, Manda. What's going on? It's so nice to see you. How are you doing this evening? Let's go... Why is the music turned off completely? I thought the game was a little bit quiet. That a little lower, but I want it to be on to some degree. That was fun to watch? Yeah, I like it. I need to make more of them. The Hillux of Faction page has been founded in nearly a day's travel to the north and incorporated into your holdings. What? I don't know what that means, but okay. Now, I have to deal with this problem. I accidentally dug out the tunnel that leads here from the upper level, so hang on a second here. I think we're gonna have to dig a staircase from here to here and then join there. I was organizing my storage in Minecraft and got really carried away in how long I stayed on. That's awesome, Manda. I hope you got a lot done. 
I must head out. Thanks for being a great place to bring my community. Thank you for entrusting them to me, Amanda. I will do my best to take good care of them. Have a wonderful night, and I hope to see you again soon. We're just trying to get two temples and a craft hall, like a, a guild craft hall set up. I've never had to do three at the same time before. It's a little bit intimidating because they are actually fairly demanding. Like the temples, you can just make a room and designate it a temple and it'll be considered a shrine. If I may have your attention, thank you so much for the tip. But Joduri, enter that into the records. Thank you so much, California. I, I really, really appreciate that. It helps more than you know. I, I really do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Oh, we have ads in progress again. Crap. Uh, okay, sorry, I noticed that and completely forgot. I'm gonna just run and do some clips. So if you liked the raid video, here's a little bit more. Definitely like this increased Venom power stuff. Oh, this is good. Oop. Yep. That's definitely true. Hey! I have not... I have not looted that, sir. Not a good shot. Um, Ooh. I'm hit. My mech is coming apart around me. I stand corrected. Damn. What were you saying to that bird? The bird no. Alright, sorry about that, folks. I uh I realized we were close to ads. I didn't know they'd already started, so I just wanted to run a little clip while they were on. Okay, uh, this is probably not a bad time, actually, now that a lot of people are hanging out and uh, you're all gathered. I take quarterly breaks from streaming. Not terribly long ones, I just take them a week. Uh, so that I have time to get some other non-streaming stuff done. And we're coming up on my next one. And so, once I'm done streaming on Monday... I would normally say, I'll be back on Thursday. Well, I'm not going to be back on Thursday. I will be back on the following Thursday, which I think is the 26th of January. So uh, I'll be taking a little bit of a break. Now, typically, what I've done for the last few years is I take my break January, and then, what would it be, April, and then July, and then October. And those are the four breaks for the year. I'm going to be shifting those back a month, so I'll actually be taking my break in March, and then June, and then September, and uh, another one in December. So I'm actually going to end up taking an extra week off this week this year, which I'm totally okay with, because frankly, I'm pretty tired. Uh, I don't have the energy. This has been a tough few years, so uh, I'm just going to do that. And then we'll just go back, you know, 2024, 20, I'll go back to four a year. What is your normal day job? I... I've been self-employed for a long time. Streaming is the vast majority of my job, honestly, at this point. I still do other stuff. I have other, like, uh, I, I, I do freelance writing and things like that. But uh, mostly streaming. I think I'm going to have to start calling myself a full-time streamer soon. Oh my god, another one. The Heliotrope Company has many members in Hole Rough and now requires a guild hall. The location must be built and furnished with the hall designated for a farmer guild. Jesus. Okay, so Craft Dwarf and Farmer. A good thing I'm already building a second room. 
Uh, yeah, so basically I'm a writer. I've worked in the game industry before. I've done game writing. I've done business writing. I've done almost every kind of writing there is aside from highly specialized fields like never done medical writing or legal writing or anything like that. But uh, yeah. any kind of creative writing or business writing or anything like that, I basically I've done it. I've written game design documentation and all sorts of stuff. That's okay, Greeny. I prefer they not be linked. The books that I've written, they're just self-published, and I would be a lot more comfortable with having them linked if I had ever been able to get them professionally edited. Oh, another one has been drained of blood. That's wonderful. Migrants have arrived. Yet another dwarf drained of blood. Lovely. Uh, we've this is like the third or fourth dwarf that we've had drained of blood on Stara. We might have a vampire problem. It, it's conceivable that we might. But I haven't the faintest idea of how to try and figure out who a vampire might be. So I don't know what to do about it really. Five years, one month, 25 days, wow. That seems weird to me. I thought I'd been following longer modded longer since my own three year anniversary is coming up. Time flies, Greeny. It really flies. You did start streaming shortly after you found uh, my channel, though. I do remember that. So that kind of makes sense to me. We have doors now. At least a year, because you started during lockdown. Well, you have been following me for three years, seven months, so I suppose that's true. Now, who was it that needed an office, actually? Um...
thought I needed another office. What the heck? I'm confused. I'm gonna forget that for now. Oh, they're done. Forever. <laughs> Faded Abbey. Well, the value's going up. Okay. At least the carving seems to help a lot. Where did I leave our stuff? Stone working. There we go. Okay, so cabinets, locks, door. Oh, it's um. Completed. Patent. Oh, great. The Baroness has been possessed. That's fantastic. You have no water source. What do you mean, no brick and water source? We do so have a water source. We must have a water source, right? Oh, shoot. It's winter. No, it's late autumn. We don't have a water source anymore. That's unfortunate. There's water in the caves, though. There's gotta be. Okay, there, oh, there's water over here. Okay. If there's water here, then I can solve this problem. Water's overrated, but occasionally useful. Hydrate and neck stretch. Thank you very much, bro. Posture check. Do the best I can. It's trickier when I'm standing, but I think my posture's okay. Oh my god. Oh, oh, this isn't... Okay, I don't have to build anything for this one. Dick to carry vessels. Wishes to reside in Hole Rough for the purpose of entertaining citizens and visitors. Sounds good.
making pretty good progress for just one dwarf. A little confused as to why he's the only one working on this, but that's okay, I guess. Come on. Ethro Slipped Sooth wishes to reside in Whole Realm for the purpose of eradicating monsters. Welcome aboard. I like that idea a lot. Thank you. What are we fighting now? Naked mole dog. Something has pulled a lever. Native silver bound codex. Oh my god. I really need to build a proper library. It's kind of criminal that I haven't already, let's be honest. Okay, now, water source. they refine the UI for this game. It's a great game. I really enjoy the game, but even with the new version, even with the refinements that they've already done, there's a lot of room that they could make it better. Let's see. Weapons, ammunition, no. Oh, objects, yes. 
iron, iron. Wheelbarrow. So those are smoothed out as well. This is a guild hall. And I believe the first one we agreed to was a crafts dwarf hall. Agreed to build Guild Hall. Oh, that's already wow, look at that. 784 value just based on the size of the room alone. And the smoothness of it. Only members can visit if guild established. The geared company tent. Oh, that might be the problem with the smoothing. On. No, all visitors welcome. That's definitely not it. The Dyke of Rope. Lovely. Gonna make a new meeting area. Guild Hall, and this one was a farmer's guild, if I recall. The Oaken Hoof. Great to build guild hall. Yeah, 784. Okay. The Heliotrope Company. Ten members. Eat boxes. Find a place here. Furniture. Offering place. Okay. Iron altar. It was an altar. Okay. Hey Vikings, how's it going? It's good to see you. So, and Stara, you wouldn't happen to have any idea how you go about identifying and eliminating vampires, would you? spending too much money on vinyl records again. Oh, fun. Just finished Pathfinder for the evening. How did that go? It's so granular that maybe if you hung up garlic in places, it'll bar their passage or make them sick. Interesting idea. Just noticed we have a dead donkey. Or mule, rather.
character is finally doing useful things. That's always a fun feeling. Congratulations on that. There's nothing wrong with spending money on vinyl records. There would be for me, I can't hear the difference. So it would be wasted money. But I'm speaking only of my own circumstance there. just fun having physical media you have to store physical media though I got out of the physical media game a long time ago the last physical media I can remember buying specifically was civilization 6 I believe yeah that would be 2 a.m. for me no problem Bob. do what you gotta do do what you gotta do. Gotta be a way to see if we've got better... Oh, engravers, that's a thing. Everybody does this. <laughs> That'll get it done faster. I don't know if it'll get it done better, but it'll get it done faster. There were some albums with better mixes for analog during the loudness wars of the early 2000s. LPs actually received different mixing than their digital counterparts. Interesting, Vikings. Though the mixes that would get put on CDs would demonstrably clip the highs and lows of the tracks, whereas the analog mixes didn't. Huh. How can I put in a chest by any chance? Apparently a trick for finding vampires is to lock suspect dwarves in a room for a season because vampires do not get hungry, only tired. That way you can just watch them to see who starves. Wow, Anstara. I realize you're not the one making the recommendation, Anstara. But still, wow. Ideally, you take them out before they starve. True, but still. Thorin Dothalrimtar Weaver has been found dead, dehydrated. Recognize priesthood. You can recognize a high priest when this is a temple complex. Sacred dust.
Desperate times, desperate measures, true. Oh, crap. I apologize, folks. Ads are in progress, but I'm not going to do clips because they're 10 seconds away from finishing. Welcome back, folks. I apologize. I literally just realized that ads had been running about 15 seconds before they finished, so... You didn't miss a whole heck of a lot. We're just waiting for all this stuff to be done. Nick's turntable from the 70s, wow. Visually, in the default Steam Edition tile set, vampires have unnatural looking pale green skin, and this is the easiest way to identify them, provided they are not wearing armor clothing that conceals their skin, such as a helmet or mask. Vampires are not smart enough to deliberately conceal their appearance, but since they often have strong military skills, an inexperienced player may immediately put the vampire in a military squad, inadvertently concealing their appearance with armor. That reminds me, I do need to create a new squad and... <laughs> Our mayor is suddenly looking somewhat suspect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I saw someone saying in their playthroughs it was their mare 90% of the time. Maybe they gravitate to positions of authority, maybe. Or maybe they just tend to have skills that make them good mares. Have a good night, Prob. Yes, I will be back on tomorrow night. Tomorrow is Sunday, which means it's Retro Sunday, which means, according to my schedule, we are finally going to be picking up where we last left off in Quest for Glory 2, Trial by Fire from Sierra Online, back in the... I guess that one would have been the early 90s. Uh, thank you, Redaction Time. Okay. Also, it's now... Oh, yep. Have a good night, probably. Have a good night. Yeah, I don't vary my stream times, except, you know, I was a little bit late starting tonight, but that's not a schedule thing. That's just a... I ran into things that slowed me down thing. Uh, okay, so, yeah. Actually, she does have pretty good combat skills. She's a competent mace dwarf. She's not in a squad. We're gonna keep it that way. We need to read up about her. Hold that. That's... Wow. Okay, that's true. Personality. She has an astounding feel for the position of her own body, great intuition, a natural inclination toward language, a great memory, and an ability to read emotions fairly well, but she has little willpower and very bad analytical abilities. She actively avoids exciting or stressful situations. As a vampire, that's a little surprising. She tends to avoid crowds. That's less surprising. She has a sense of duty. She takes offered help and gifts without feeling particularly grateful. She is slow to trust others. She has a tendency to consider ideas and abstractions over practical applications. She sometimes acts with little determination and confidence. She doesn't handle stress well. That's not good for a vampire. She prefers to present herself modestly. She lives a fast-paced life. She needs alcohol to get through the working day and can't even remember the last time she had some. She doesn't really care about anything anymore. Okay, I also need to sit down again, so give me a moment.
Ah, uh, thank you, Prob. Drinks dwarf blood. High alcohol content, that is true. Except that uh, my dwarves don't seem to be able to remember when they last had alcohol, which is perhaps not the best. Maybe I should actually look into that a little bit. Uh, what do we make drinks at? We must have something, right? Still, brew drink from plant. Extract from plants. Let's do work orders instead. Unrotten extract bearing plant plants. Works for me. Not satisfied for next check. Private chimney that flows through all floors just containing alcohol? Chimneys... That's not what chimneys are for. Chimneys are for eliminating smoke. I don't think you want to run alcohol through a chimney. Whether it's private or not. Sound really dumb here, but how do you have your bed set up? No, nothing dumb about that. This is a confusing game. I have large numbers of rooms here, but probably not enough because I've got 58 people. We got migrants recently. I should probably see if I can set up more rooms now that you've got me thinking about it. That's all we get. Closet style rooms. I feel abusive now. Your beds are in two by twos. Honestly, the game actually does specifically say that that's all dwarves require to be happy. They, I mean, you can even get away with less than that. You can do like a one by three, give them a cabinet and a chest and a bed, and they'll be perfectly content. They don't really need a lot of space. It's not like RimWorld, where they get really, you know, uppity about not having sufficient room in their rooms. mostly RimWorld habits that force me to make bedrooms this big. Although, in fairness, uh, these dwarves, I feel like I'm giving them closet rooms, because I would typically do, like, 8x8, eight eight, or at least 6x6. Six six. with private bathrooms and everything.
Yep, finished goods. Which is a little unfortunate, because it means I end up selling a lot of my crutches and stuff instead of having them in medical stuff. Oh, what's this? Stricken by melancholy. Right, I still need to... I, I never did set up my new... Squadron, did I? Two metal armor. Blacks and torches. Do staggered training. And we're going to create a new squad. Okay, so these guys are the non-archers, so... You... 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 Good. Oh, shoot. Not you. <laughs> I assigned the vampire. You. And then the rough lakes. Wrestler. Wrestler. Proficient Markswarf, you're in. Competent Markswarf, you're in. And then we'll just have to take a bunch of people that have no relevant skills. I do not have a hospital. If I ever started a stream, I would never be able to get a following. <laughs> California, everybody thinks that when they start.
Trust me, if I can get a following, anybody can get a following. We've got people stuck outside because this lever's been pulled and I didn't notice it until now. I mean, I saw the notice that a lever had been pulled. I didn't realize that it trapped people out there. The priesthood of the Coven of Twilight is ready to be recognized from the temple's location menu. This will satisfy the agreement. Okay, excellent. Skilled judge of intent, skilled comedian. Let's do competent persuader, competent judge of intent. Okay, now, how are we doing up here? I think we're going to do something similar. I think maybe, though, instead of doing all the walls and floors... The walls. That'll be significantly faster. Probably won't boost the value as much, but that's okay. I'm gonna want chests. Let's see if we can do that. Let's check the value. Sure if that's helping or not. In a bit, we might have to do floors too. is helping, but I don't think the walls alone are going to be enough. Roughly 1400. Before. 
not going to cut it. confused about why they're all dehydrating to death. I just gave them a brand new water supply, did I not? I'm fairly certain that I did. Looks like it's accessible. Problem, guys. point to space above water without actually giving them access to the water. Oops. Yeah, dehydrated. Shoot. Okay. Kinda of wild that on this massive map that I've given them, there's so little underground water. Or at least, there's very little underground water that they know. The old hall agreement with the geared company has been satisfied. Big cheese? What on earth redaction time? When Dwarf Fortress Big Cheese is a viable food option, do I want to know? Succeed under and cold before I ever try that in real life.
Guild Hall agreement with the Heliotrope Company has been satisfied. around all over the place. to keel over. They get to digging that out soon. afterwards. Yes, I will. Unless somebody goes and digs this out, I'm going to be in serious trouble. Going to get some sleep, waking up early to get some errands done. Hope you have a great rest of stream. Thank you very much, Matt. Have a fantastic night. is entirely intact. This one's not. Oh, thank you, Matt. some clips. Looks like ads are running, so I'll be back in just a minute. The RO recently requested assistance in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs only in our universe, or in all possible universes. It may be that our laws of physics only occur in a finite area, a bubble, if you will, in an ocean of other possibilities. I am speculating whether, if you went far enough out or created enough energy, you could reach a place where one plus one equaled three. Everything would change. All energy, all matter, all the underlying math of the universe would be unrecognizable to us. Why? What were you thinking? I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> oh my god, Uthgard, what the heck?
What on earth is wrong with her? This is kind of hilarious. Oh. Yeah, I guess that should have been fairly obvious that I needed to wait until he was actually there. Look at these two. Oh my god, they look so good together. That was real cool. Okay, I'm back. Thank you, Enstar. Thank you, Redaction. Thank you, Greeny. Oh, boy. I can't imagine why Redaction. That doesn't make sense to me. Well, that actually means that Automod is happy with you, Redaction. If it were not allowing your messages through, that would be unhappy, I think. What do you mean, something has pulled a lever? Gremlin, oh great. Apparently, Redaction. I can up auto mod a little bit. anything about that kind of behavior redaction I don't know that's weird a gremlin drive it away I think we've lost almost half of the uh, population so far.
Can we not force these people to dig? There's water right there. If only they would go get it. Needs decent study. He needs killing, actually. I don't think we have enough tombs yet. Technically, the ideal number is zero. Not if the number of bodies is greater than zero. That's a bit of a problem in that case. I never thought we would fill all of these so quickly. That's pretty amazing. I think it might be time to start another fortress pretty soon. <laughs> did go from 50 to 15. Now we're not down to 15 yet. I 
And just like that, we're out of tombs again. Oof. Ah, uh, yes, now 15. Hmm. Well, we're going to keep at it. Maybe one day they will actually dig up water. Apparently today is not that day. Let's make sure that our immortal vampire mayor is assigned as a digger. that matter since we may be left with only her at some point soon I should maybe make sure that she's assigned to literally every job game. Finish saving. I want to change stuff. Come on. That's another thing I hope they can fix sometime soon is, uh, you know, optimization of save game handling. That would be pretty nice. If I may have your attention, thank you so much for the tip. Joe Dury, could you make sure that gets recorded? But thank you so much. California, you already tipped once tonight. You don't have to do that. You don't have to tip at all. I really appreciate it. That is really kind. Lanter. Lanter. Fisher Dwarf. Plant Gatherer. Stone cutter, everybody does that. Everybody engraves. Everybody hauls. Everybody's an orderly. He's already assigned to metal smithing. And now to healing, which is ironic. And we need to make her an engineer. There we go. So no matter what we need done, we can be assured that we have one dwarf at least, alive-ish, who is capable of taking the task and going with it. Spring has arrived! Oh boy. That means water will be returning shortly. Unforgiveness, oh boy. I would encourage others. Not everybody's capable, so I never, I never encourage people or, you know, it, it's always appreciated but never required all of you are already giving me a very valuable gift by being here 
Your time and your attention means a lot. God, we're going to be a colony of just stray animals. Mesbeth Mesafira Crawford Stonecutter has been missing for a week. And do we have water up here by chance? Excuse me a moment. I'm hearing that a very kind viewer has gifted a subscription to another viewer, but thank you so much. Halera, take that down, please. Redaction, thank you so much for gifting a sub to California. That is so kind. I appreciate that. Enjoy your new library book, California. You are now a lore keeper. See, now it's just teasing me. We've got the sound of running water. Uh, we don't actually get the water. Early spring. We are going to get water back again soon, right? Before we reach a population of one. That would be ideal. Thank you, California. I request no more neck stretching. I've had to do that a lot tonight. It's helpful in small amounts, but uh, too much is kind of painful. I'll do this one, but no more, please. Here we go. Oh boy. So many animals, what the heck. Now, have we had any progress made with our digging up of water? No, we have not.
specific information for that activity. Just trying to make sure you take care of yourself. I work from home myself, so I do a lot of sitting on the computer. Yeah, it's just that early in the stream, people were redeeming that one a lot. So I think I've done like 10 times or something already this stream. Bought myself an under the desk. I actually have one of those too, California. I've been toying with the idea of making a redemption for that as well, but I haven't actually done it yet. Ah, uh, thank you for the hydrate. Need empty bucket. That's a new one. Wait a minute. No. Did somebody dig down finally? No. We might have to create a new, uh, a new colony, a new fortress. Probably not the worst idea ever, let's be honest. I think we're going to do that, because I don't like the way we got started with this one anyway. We are going to... The fortress for the time being is an option. I wonder what the difference is. I mean, it sounds like we could return if we retire the fortress for the time being. Just check. Fortress. Fair. Fortress. If for whatever reason you wish to end your fortress game prematurely, i.e. without every citizen dying, you can choose to either retire your fort, which will make it an active settlement in the world, or you can abandon it to ruin, which will cause the dwarves to gradually emigrate and leave them. You know what? Let's stick with it. What the heck? We have nine dwarves. That's more than we had when we founded this place. Um, I am curious, though. What happens if we order a hit on the mayor? You must appoint somebody first to create a squad. I'm not trying to create a squad. I'm assigning a kill order. It won't let me target the mayor. <laughs> Sounds like a Civ game. Yeah, you see the settler is five plus people, but you found the city and don't even have a citizen for a few turns.
That's because a citizen is not one person. It's an abstracted unit representing a number of people. Melt magnetite ore as we... We haven't had anybody actually die for a while. See that as a positive. Petitions. Durple convent frame wishes to reside in Holrough for the purpose of entertaining. Uh, you're really sure? Okay, your funeral. We don't seem to be getting our water back. It's still frozen. We should get plants gathered. Plants gathered. Get stuff. Make things. Do things. Alright, guys. Uh, while we wait for my. Oh my god, what happened? We got migrants. Uh, anyway, we have ads starting in just a, a few seconds, so I'm going to go to some clips, and then I'll be back in just a few. Harold is beating me for Suzerain of Laventa. Irritating. You know, I'll work on Stockholm. He can have Laventa. That was... I like that. <laughs> they call them silent machete kills, but they definitely don't see all that, seem all that silent to me. that Oh my god Oh crap so well. 
It's been a bit of a day. Lots of things going right. Lots of things going wrong. My airport is still on fire. What the hell? Okay. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So, you got that job as a janitor after all. <laughs> I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. You fight like a dairy farmer. I am rubber. You are glue. I Got give up. You win. Yes. I do have The Witcher 3 for PS4. Oh, shoot. Nice. Not bad. Okay, now, Uthgird, we all know your history with these pressure plates. You're gonna be careful, right? No, she's not gonna be careful. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm back. Okay. Hmm. Nineteen. What the? Eighteen. Uh, no sooner have we gotten more migrants than all of a sudden people start dying off again. I bet it's going to be the eight people that are capable of dying. How is my population up to 25 again? I guess that's got to be, it's the migrants just not all arriving at the same time, I suppose. So basically, it's going to be our vampire mayor and all the newcomers. I, more than anything else right now, would love to know how to just deal with all these animals. Really don't like them running around. I would love to get rid of them. By any means. I hate them running around everywhere. Missing for a week. Probably field down in the caves, unable to get back in.
Okay, let's take a look at this. Why can I not... I'm gonna cheat. I can't set everybody does this, but I can set everybody do this. Fish cleaner, close enough. Plant gatherers, everybody does this. Pretty stone cuts, everybody engraves. Heliotrope Company, down to one member. No members of the Geared Company. for a few people if I open this, but I'm terrified of opening this because that's just going to invite the troglodytes and the every other thing to come and snack on the colony while we're really weak. Oro Steed Snacked wishes to reside in Holrof for the purpose of entertaining. Yeah the worst that can happen, right?
I don't expect that to get worked on for a while. Meantime, it's probably too much to ask that anybody's made more no coffins. Okay, fair enough. So what happens if I designate tombs that have no coffins, I wonder? Let's find out. It's late spring. Surely we must have water now. We have water! We're saved. Maybe I ought to come up with a strategy for claiming some of that water and creating, well, actually, I guess we're okay now, or will be, if I can get them to ever freaking dig out that uh, you know, the stairway down to the underground water, which would really be nice, guys, if you could do that sometime soon, maybe. That'd be fantastic. So freaking tired of fighting all the time. I. Ugh. I need to know one of these days how to get rid of all of them. Wow, that's dark. Meditate on suicide? What the heck? What's his personality? He has a good feel for social relationships and a way with words. He does not enjoy participating in physical confrontations, and he works to square this natural tendency with his respect for martial, respect of martial prowess. He can easily fall in love or develop positive sentiments. He is not inherently proud of his talents and accomplishments. He tends to be a little tight with resources when working on projects. He often feels envious of others. He has a noticeable lack of perseverance. He is slow to anger. He doesn't often experience strong cravings or urges. He tries to do things correctly each time. He tends to be a bit stubborn in changing his mind about things. He does not have a great aesthetic sensitivity. He tends to think before acting. He is easily distracted during conversations when he's bored. He needs alcohol to get through the working day. He doesn't really care about anything anymore. We actually had that done. Suppose we had a chest we could put down here too. Six worshippers, the Shrine of Lizards. <laughs> the Fated Abbey, Fated Creed, two worshippers.
You act before thinking? A lot of people do. Take a look at these ones. Here. All visitors welcome. Members of the Geared Company. Members can visit if the guild is established. One member, Heliotrope member. I haven't looked at our living quarters yet in a while. I guess at this point we've got space for a fair number of our people. Probably more than we need, so that's one minor positive to the whole situation. There it is. There, the vampire. Vampire, where are you? Okay, we should probably get more plants gathered. I didn't assign too many tasks for that. Oh my god, are you kidding me? He did it again. Unbelievable. I don't even have a bookkeeper anymore. There we go. 
Chief Medical Dwarf. Now, manager, bookkeeper. Needs meager study, no study. Okay, so that would be the office that I was trying to build then. So whose was that? Onget Regsubir. Gotta love the names. Okay, so he's got a modest study. He only needs a meager study. He's doing better than he would have. The manager handles work orders. Once your fortress reaches a certain population, the manager must work in an office to validate work orders. Okay, so... Uh, we will give this one... to... who was that? The manager. Hekud... Nil moral. Okay, so the manager is good. Oh, I assigned the same guy to be captain of the guard and messenger. Not great. You can be messenger instead. Okay, so Captain of the Guard needs a study. Has meager quarters, needs quarters. Needs a dining room. It's a chest and a cabinet, but has needs a weapon rack and an armor stand. Jeez. Okay. They are export of greats prohibited. Fair. Okay. The sub tunnel takes wishes to reside in Holra for the purpose of entertaining citizens and visitors. Sure, why not? So that's the manager's quarters. Who are... Okay, so Captain of the Guard and Moldath both need better quarters. I want to see where they live right now. So what's his name? Uh, Captain of the Guard guy. Stukos.
Sigun. Modest quarters. We're gonna have that. Modest quarters needs quarters, and geez. Oh, ads are in progress, folks. I'll be right back again. Alright. What do you mean you can't reach my freaking location? my location can you you were stuck on one tiny little thing Commander. You can't outrun me. The commander. Brazier is lit. Reinforcements are coming. Oh man. The, co the commander leaped off to his own death. Hey, what? Die worm. <laughs> this is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. Now do we trust these strange pigeon sister brothers? But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. That was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. <laughs> this is making me so incredibly happy. <laughs> I don't know where we're going with this. I'm a little nervous. I'll spare you guys the rest of that one. I'm back. Have a good night, Bob. Okay. Let's see here. Thank you, Anstara.
What is it? Oh, caravan. We have a broker, right? I doubt we have much to trade. I don't think we have any finished goods bins. I mean, we've got other stuff I could trade, but... Wow. You know what? I'm actually just gonna... not trade this time, I think. Chief Treasurer. Oh, maybe we'll do a little trading. See what we can get for all this. <laughs> this is why you need finished goods bins. Now, instead of waiting for two or three things, we're waiting for 400 things. Could take a while. next time. Rounds of prepared meals. Take a while.
Hey, Vera Johnson, the game is... It's very Dwarf Fortressy. It's not being very kind to us. We've had some terrible trouble with dehydration, and it has been very, very, very bad. But it's been fun at the same time. How are you doing tonight? It's good to see you. I hope all is well with you. Yeah, we went from a population of 50 to a population of 9 due to dehydration. And also, it turns out, our mare is a vampire. So, there's that. The Picks of Fealty wish to reside in Holra for the purpose of entertaining. Sounds good. Moldath, the mayor, has been re-elected. Because who doesn't want their mayor to be a vampire? He runs the place so well. I mean, it's a little unfortunate that every once in a while a citizen turns up completely drained of blood, but what can you do? The mosquitoes were bad this year. I'm sure the people of Barovia may have some words to that effect. Then it's real unfortunate that the people of Barovia can't make it here to speak them. I mean, she's more honest than the other guys. I mean, you're probably not wrong. there. Only 29 more things. Good enough. Okay. Still have no drinks. Oh my god, 18,000? Oh, jeez.
That actually seems reasonable. Hey, Hammer, how's it going? Um, well, the problem was this all happened over the course of winter, so there was no water available. And uh, we ran out of stuff to make alcohol with. Okay. So I'm hoping... I, I've already got it set up so that hopefully we'll have an underground supply of water next time. If they ever get around to deigning to actually finish digging this out. Maybe the problem is... Um, there and see if that helps. Now, there's water down in the caves here. It's just they weren't able to access it. So I'm trying to get them to build staircases down here. I mean, we still had 50 people when I told them to dig down here, but unfortunately I stopped too high above the water for them to get it. Okay, we have a few drinks at least. They can get alcohol now. So we just need them to get over here and dig down to this level. Either of these stairs or both will do. So I just bought a bunch of plants from the caravan. And I'm giving lots of plant gather orders. So that we can get lots of stuff and be well equipped for next time. You have people designated for mining, right? Everybody should be designated for mining. Oh, we have crimes on the books. What? Murder of Eton Tord the Baber engraver. Unsolved injured party engraver. Found the body. Oh my god, I've never looked at this. Holy crap. <laughs> what is... Wow, I need to pay more attention to this justice tab. There are no closed cases. There is a cold case. Wait, thought I saw something. Just the troll. Weird how there's never any witnesses. Yep. 
nobody's been convicted so far. There's no intelligence information yet. If a crime involves a conspiracy, an interrogation may reveal the plot. Oh my god. This game. Ugh. I start to think maybe I'm kind of getting a handle on it. Nope, not so much. Oh, no. It, like, it's literally four people so far. We lost more than 40 people. It was not a matter of murder. We, they literally, they died of dehydration. You know what? I'm going to cancel this stuff here. Cancel that, because I don't want them spending time digging this before they get to digging that water stuff. way I can increase the priority. Dig it out. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, California. Honestly, I kind of am, in a way. We got ourselves all the way up to a barony, which is a bit of an accomplishment. And... We almost lost the entire population, but we didn't actually lose the entire population, so that's... that's not nothing. Nope, no tombs. No. Five hundred twenty five plants. We'll probably be okay for drinks for a while at least. What on earth are they prioritizing above other stuff? What are you doing? Merchants will be leaving soon. Ghostly paper maker? What?
Are we being haunted? Oh, we, you know, we very well might be because we've got a million bodies scattered around the place that haven't been buried yet because we ran out of tomb space. Ertzla Doug was seen being stolen. Okay, to the justice screen. Theft of faction brutal. Witness Sekel Biniradir, human axeman, accuses Nil Hedusim, planter, Harrogate. Interview scheduled. Are there any other witnesses? <laughs> so it looks like we've got potentially three ghosts. Technically, who could be considered deceased, but they might actually be able to answer questions if only they had seen something. suppose we have any cages or anything, do we? Uh, cages, restraints. No cage, okay. Tell you what. Hey, uh... Other object. Iron. Oh, okay. Uh, another object. Furniture. Iron. Page. We need the altars anymore. Now, as for this stuff here... End of the guard. Okay, so we need more stuff for this. He's got a chest, he's got that. He needs... If I'm not mistaken... Some military crap. He needs an armor stand. I'm sure I saw it in our stash. And he could use a weapon rack. Okay, so we got that too. Holy crap, ads starting soon again. I'll be back in a few minutes again, folks. So frequent. <laughs> what was that? There you go. Arrow to the knee. Now you can no longer be an adventurer. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> 
What the hell? Gotcha. Now watch a courier show up again. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Holy crap. Where did... Where did that come from? You again? Crap. <laughs> Know any good postal jokes? Oh, you bet I do. Why are postal workers such great comedians? They have a special delivery, huh? was a little eerie. That was not me. I didn't do that one. And now these guys are... Okay. <laughs> Back again. We're done with the cage yet, are we? We are. Good. Folks, build it. Okay, well, since they're clearly doing other stuff, let's see. Unsolved. Wait, this one too? Infest. Implicates Subi Hauntstank. Designate a dungeon before this restraint will be used for imprisonment. Okay. Dungeon, dungeon, dungeon.
This furniture is a part of unnamed dungeon. Okay. Espionage against the town of Clutches? What? Doobie haunts Dank. Confessed. Oh my god. Nil Kedusim. That's a lot of witnesses. Holy crap. Eleven witnesses? Okay, let's schedule it. Witness to be con oh espionage. What? <laughs> what is Subi? What the heck? Okay, we're gonna schedule that. Interrogate. Oh, I guess we've already got uh, a schedule for that one. Jeez. This justice system is wild. Holy crap. It's a whole game unto itself. Subi haunt stank. Uh, wait, what? Well, Implicate somebody. Is a sign. Needs to study, needs quarters. Wait a minute. Okay, we'll remove that assignment. He's already got better quarters. It is, Vera. It is... Ugh. Can we not interrogate Subi again? I wish there was a search for the uh, witness list. I don't see anything that looks like Subi. Crazy stuff. Wow. Okay. 
I think we're gonna have to leave it here. We're after four o'clock in the morning, guys, and my eyes are getting tired, so let me save and return to title menu. We're gonna save to this timeline. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna find somebody to raid. Thank you guys so much for all being here. I really appreciate it, especially because you could have been just about anywhere on the internet doing just about anything, so it means a lot that you decided that this place of all places was worthy of your time and attention. So, uh... Get a head start here. I'll bring up my list while that's saving. No. I'm wanting to pull up TikTok links. I've been a lot more active lately with my, uh clip making that I do. I post them to Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts, and not all of them work all that well, but some of them are actually proving to be quite popular. It's really fun seeing one pop off, and you know, I think the best one that I've got so far is uh, I've got one clip that did about 40,000 views on YouTube Shorts. Pretty cool. So, uh, I, I always enjoy seeing how the different ones perform. Okay, here's my list. So it looks like Laxative Legacy is playing some Horizon Zero Dawn this evening. Palette Box is playing Embers Adrift. Simcopters playing American Truck Simulator. What if Julia is playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? That looks like it's about it for this evening. So we've got some Laxative Legacy with Horizon Zero Dawn, Pallet Box with Embers Adrift. Then I believe it was Simcopter with American Truck Sim. And what if Julia with Mario Kart? Always good with Pallet or Lax? I was kind of thinking I wouldn't mind seeing some of Lax's Horizon Zero Dawn playthrough. He's at the bottom of tonight's uh, viewer list by view count. Load up his channel and we're going to go help him out with that a little bit. Game? Can we? There we go. Thank you. Wondering where all that cave sound. All right, I'm gonna go raid Laxative Legacy. He's a good friend of the channel. Really, really chill. Really, really good vibes kind of content. Low key, low energy. If you're winding down your day or maybe just easing into it gradually, not a bad place to hang out. I'm sure a lot of you that uh, follow me and have for some time are already well familiar with Lax, but uh, let's go see how Horizon's treating him. There we go. And I'll get you the raid call as well. That's his link there. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the Heart of Moat and the Wave of Moat of the channel if you are a sub. If you're not a sub, you can raid in the raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own, or maybe from another streamer, possibly from Twitch themselves, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to here you'll all be book so let's get over to lax's channel i recognize where he is he's got to be getting on he's not at the end of the game but he's getting towards it so uh he's he's a little bit beyond some of the big spoilery reveals right now doing some fun stuff so it should be a good time to get in there even if you're not seriously familiar with the game Although, if you don't want it spoiled at this point, I mean, it came out in 2017, but if you don't want it spoiled, uh, you know, it's still always nice if you could pop in with the raid and then hop out or something like that. But let's get over to Lax's channel, see what's going on with him, and I will catch you over there. I will be back tomorrow night. We are going to be playing some retro gaming tomorrow. A number of months ago, I started playing through some Sierra Online text parser adventures. And I played through Quest for Glory 1, so you want to be a hero. And then I also played a bunch of Quest for Glory 2 Trial by Fire. But I never finished that one. We're going to see how far we can get towards completing that game tomorrow. 
we might be able to actually finish it off. And if we do, then we'll have to figure out what we're going to do. I don't necessarily want to hop straight into the third one because I will be taking a week off. But uh, maybe we'll just go back to one of the other games we're playing regularly or something like that. We'll see. Uh, so, yeah, anyway. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. I'll catch you again real soon. Hopefully over at Lax's in a few minutes. Bye for now. What have we here? Orad has transformed you into a new source of recreation. You, of course, don't survive this treatment. It's tough to make friends around here. It's time for a hard reset. Oh my god. Well. That's a hell of an intro. I just realized I have not even started using bombs yet, and it's already almost gone. Crap. Now, Aloy, the door. Wow. That's it? That's your best? Damn you. Wait, 